What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about pattern creation and organization inside FL Studio. Now up here at the top in this little menu bar is the pattern selector. You can use your scroll wheel to scroll through it and create multiple patterns or you can also hit the plus and it prompts you to name your pattern. We'll just keep it with this pattern one and we can left click to drop that in the playlist. It drops it only as a one bar pattern. We can go over to the end of the pattern until our cursor changes and just left click and drag it out to however long we want it. We'll just do eight bars. All right, now we can go into the channel rack. The channel rack is set right now for pattern one. If we scroll through it, it'll be set for whatever pattern we are on up here. So we wanna make sure we're on pattern one to be able to put information here in the channel rack and for it to show up in this spot here. Now up here at the top left, there's a couple things to note. You can be in pattern mode, which only plays what's in this pattern, or you can be in song mode and it plays all the stuff that's in the playlist. So if you had your full song, multiple patterns and you know melodies and all that stuff, you'd wanna be in song mode. Okay, so inside pattern one, we're just gonna lay out a simple drum loop. Now if we play it, It plays, and as you can see, we're in song mode, so it's the cursor's moving in the playlist as well. If we move to pattern mode, it'll just play this pattern. Song mode, the cursor right here, you'll the playhead, you'll see it move. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you're playing your stuff and it's just playing the one pattern you're on, you probably aren't in song mode. Now, a couple things to note in the channel rack. If your drums are looping in a way that you don't have it, like for example, if I put this loop, it's this part right here, use loop points on the open hi-hat. I put that on, let's play it. You see the, the hi-hat is coming in at, the open hi-hat's coming in on spots that it's not supposed to be. So make sure you deselect those use loop points. A lot of samples come in predetermined with load regions and use loop points on. I just take both of those off. Now, another thing in the channel rack is if you're trying to get, you know, some master swing, you can use this button right here and it will give the pattern a nice main swing. Okay. Now, as you can see, our pattern inside the playlist only loops for four bars. It doesn't go into the next four bars. Now, instead of having to go into the channel rack and remove everything over, we can actually go into the playlist and do this cool little trick. So let's, Highlight, let's click on the pattern and click on the end of it and drag it to only four bars like so. Then we can hold shift, left click and drag to bring it over. And now we can hold control, left click and highlight both of them like so. All right, now we can do control G. It's gonna group that into a new pattern. As you can see, it says pattern two now. The original pattern is still here, so we can just go up into this drop down menu and delete it. All right, so now we have pattern one, that's four, eight bars. If we wanna rename this, there's a couple ways we can rename it. There's a drop down menu right here. You can go in and rename and do some other stuff with it. Or we can just right click on the actual pattern icon right here on the top left of the pattern and hit rename. Let's just call it drums. All right, now if you wanna get all of those individual drum layers on a separate, um, pattern so they're their own thing you can bring them in and out as you see fit we can do that as well let's just delete this pattern out of the playlist and over here on the left there's a drums thing here that's what the pattern is but we can right click it and do a split by channel and that's going to split all of the drums there now we can left click to select this first one and hold shift and left click the bottom and it will highlight all of them now we can just click and drag and put them into the playlist like so. So now we can remove and add things as we see fit. But yeah, that's pretty much it on patterns and organization inside the patterns in the playlist. If you have some more questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But if this video did bring you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe and hit that little bell. I really appreciate that. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.